Hey, it's Tom and Mike from Take Time to Travel. We spent three months living in Lisbon, Portugal, in the charming Sao Bento neighborhood, which was the perfect base for us to explore all over the city. Today, we're going to give you a full apartment tour and show you why we loved this area so much. We were surrounded by beautiful green leafy streets in a quieter, centrally located community. Let's head inside our building now, and then we'll show you more of our neighborhood afterwards. Walking up to the fifth floor, you'll find our apartment at the top of the stairs. Come on in. I'm going to show you around our apartment in Lisbon, Portugal. Mike, if you want to just close that door behind you. So we're going to head down this long hallway and you can see we've got nice pine floors and those pine floors carry throughout the entire apartment. And then the first room we're gonna show you is the living room. And we've got an easy chair with a footstool and then across from it, there's a three-seater sofa and they've got some artwork hanging up on the walls, which is always kind of nice for us. It makes us feel a little bit more at home. We've got a big peninsula in the kitchen. It's got a breakfast bar, so there's three stools and sometimes we do sit there and have our lunch or have our dinner. And sometimes we even watch a little bit of TV while we're sitting there. And so this is the TV built in up top. It's not a very big TV, but anyway, it does work and we have used it. And it's right above the fridge. So this fridge is integrated into the cabinets and it's a little squeaky. And down below there's a freezer and then we've got the stove. It's a gas stove and has four burners and oven down below. And we've got kettles and toasters, all the dishes, cutlery, pots and pans, everything you need is here. And there's a fair amount of storage space in the drawers and all the cupboards. Then over here, we've got the microwave and down below it, washing machine. And it also is a dryer. So we made good use of that. And then on the countertop, we've got a coffee maker and the sink and then down below here is the dishwasher so always find that's a great place to hide dishes and across from us if you know us you know we like to have a balcony to sit out and we scored big time um, this one has a really big terrace and it's all glass on this wall so come on outside we've got a table sometimes we sit out here and have our lunch or dinner and it's got three chairs and then there's a big planter box with all these plants in it that Mike's been watering every few days and then in the corner to the right of that is an umbrella and also a lounge chair and it's got glass railings so it kind of opens up the view and we've got a view of the nice tiled roofs here in Lisbon and we can see right down to the Tagus River and also across the river on the other side is the city of Almada and there's some lighting kind of built in all outside here so it's really nice at night a little bit of construction going on out there too we didn't really know that was happening but anyway it hasn't been too bad i'll let you close that door again mike and then over here is a little bit of a bonus room i guess it would be a family room or something and it's got these sliding doors that move across now they have dowels in them but up above there is a blind that you can pull down and if you wanted some privacy and the reason you might want that is this big l-shaped sofa if you take the cushions off the back of it you can slide it around and it can be used as a double bed for somebody so you could have a little bit of privacy then in there across from that we've got a closet and then a workstation mike's got his computer set up and i've got some of my artwork leaning up against the wall so we're going to head back down this hallway and this door on the right is into the bathroom and it's all done in black tile. So we've got the sink and then a really big mirror up above and then some lighting in behind that. And then if you want to come over here, Mike, we've got a bathtub and then it also has a nice big rainforest shower head up top and also one of those handheld ones and then back around this way we've got the bidet here the toilet and then we've got our laundry hamper stashed in behind the door 
So we're going to head back down the hallway and this is the door that we did come in in the beginning and across from that there is a bench. We've got some of our shoes under there and usually I sit down on that bench and put my shoes on. And then we'll come into the bedroom. It's got a wall here. Mike uses this for his closet. This is my closet. And then somehow he scored the dresser too. So he's got more stuff stashed in there. And then up top, it's got a couple of huge skylights. And that's been really nice. Let's in a lot of light and especially first thing in the morning when you're waking up, get to wake up with the sun coming up. And then we've got a double bed or a full size bed. And there's nightstands on either side with some bed lamps. And then across from that, we've got something a little bit different that I'm going to show you. So I'll open this up and I'll let you go out first, Mike. It's a fairly small space out here, but we do come out here sometimes in the evening and it's a nice view of the city. We can see some of the beautiful buildings. Up at the end of the street, there is a university. Now that balcony was nice to have, but we spent most of our time on the main terrace, which was lit up so nicely in the evenings. And from here, you could even see the cruise ships going by on the Tagus River. Our neighborhood of Sao Bento was also the perfect area to live. It was walkable to all of the popular touristy districts like Baixa, as well as Chiado and Alfama. But our area was a bit removed from those busier places, so it was much quieter and still had lots of colorful and beautiful buildings with trams for easy transit across the many hills of the city. We loved our neighborhood. Just around the corner, you could also find the Palacio de Sao Bento, which is the Parliament of Portugal. Classified as a national monument, this impressive building is wonderful to see in person. The palace sure has an incredible facade. And if you make your way up the grand staircase at the front of the building, you'll be rewarded with a fantastic panoramic view overlooking the surrounding Sao Bento neighborhood. Just around the other side of the building, there's this huge old tree shading this lovely little park. And a few minutes walk from there was this other popular park, which was lined with restaurants, cafes, inviting patios, and there was also a popular kiosk for some snacks and drinks. In the evenings, you could find lots of people here relaxing and having a good time with a glass of wine or a cold beer. Nearby, there's also Green Street, one of our favorite places to wander through. In the evenings, it has a vibrant atmosphere with many people out enjoying themselves. We especially liked this spot with all of the hanging greenery, colorful lanterns and streamers. Sometimes there are even parties spilling out onto the street. At night, the tables fill up with diners having a meal by candlelight. It's very pretty. It was really nice to have such a unique street so close by. There was also lots of tasty food options around the corner like suculento. Let's head inside now and give this highly rated restaurant a try. Although not very big, this popular eatery has a stylish interior. We grabbed a table and started out with a Bandita do Pomar cider for each of us. And then we shared four pork croquettes, which were very tasty. For our main course, I had the bacalao. It has splinters of cod cooked in olive oil and served with broth and salad. Tom had the pork colento, which is pork cooked for 12 hours served with couscous and coleslaw. The pork colento was super tender and fell apart in your mouth, and my bacalao broth was excellent as well. That would have been enough for us, but we also ordered the seared fresh tuna with sesame seeds served with roasted vegetables. Then to finish our meal, we shared the cheesecake for dessert. Overall, we loved our meal at Succolento and found it very reasonably priced. Well, we hope you enjoyed our apartment tour and exploring the Sao Bento neighborhood. 
Make sure to subscribe for more Lisbon videos coming soon. And remember, take time to travel. Catch you on the next one.